The chairman of the Nigerian Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, Buba Marowa, while congratulating the chief of army staff on his appointment, said that no part of the country is safe as many Nigerians are guilty of drug abuse, adding that Nigeria's security challenges can be traced to substance abuse. The NDLEA boss, who said that the agency is winning the war against drug abuse, called on the Nigerian army to help the agency deliver its objectives through providing training and rehabilitation centers. In the last uh, couple of weeks, we have all uh, been privy to what the NDLA has done and is doing in the matter of seizures and arrests and law enforcement and convictions. But we need more firepower uh, on occasion, and we would like to seek the support of um, the Nigerian Army. The Director General, National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, Iman Suleiman, said that human trafficking portends a great danger to Nigeria's image. She stated that the agency at present is in 21 states and has nine commands to tackle the rising cases of human trafficking. She called on the Nigerian army to help train their operatives and also collaborate with the agency in joint operations, especially in the border areas. Strongly require the support of the Nigerian army is in the areas of joint operations when they need arise, especially around our borders, especially in the northeast of the country. We have a lot of people that are unaccounted for. So it's very easy for people to be trafficked in a large number without knowing. As an agency with great potentials, we also have administrative and um, operational challenges, things like vehicle, computers. The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Tahiro who received the visitors at the army headquarters, assured them that the Nigerian army will support their efforts in delivering their objectives and advised them to sustain the tempo in the achievement of their agency's mandate. Your effort in curbing illicit flow of drugs has equally impacted positively in reducing the security in Nigeria. This is because findings have shown that proceeds from illicit flow of drugs are used to fund some of the security challenges we face in the country. Therefore, I will urge you to do more so that Nigeria can become a secured and drug abuse free country. Let me state that the Nigerian Army under my watch has zero tolerance for drug and substance abuse. I would therefore appreciate if the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency can include better communities in their sensitization programs, workshops, and seminars. This will help reduce and educate our children and the products populace and the dangers of drug abuse. Mr. Chairman, sir, let me conclude by assuring you that the Nigerian Army will continue to support you and collaborate with the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency in your programs and activities. Most trafficked persons are carried across our borders and sometimes used as food soldiers for terrorists bandits and other criminal elements. This has in recent times contributed to the challenges of insecurity in the country. The Nigerian Army will continue to support and collaborate with the National Agency for Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons. The visit by the two government agencies indicates a readiness by federal government agencies to collaborate in area of security. I am Marvelous Obomano for Signature TV, Abuja.